guys welcome to my channel um i cut my hair on monday and i specifically cut it on monday for a reason i am following the lunar um, calendar for hair trimming so i was introduced to this cutting my hair according to the moon cycle goes by my besties they are the best and their hair is luxurious and I know jeans play a little part of it as well, but hey, they might be onto something. And they kept telling me, you need to cut your hair according to the month there's a new moon, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, yeah, blah, mm, blah. Here I am five years later, I'm actually giving it a try. A week ago, I was online and I just came across this page. And I'm going to leave the link below where it has a whole bunch of stuff. There's the calendar for hair trimming, calendar for hair coloring, calendar for epilation, calendar for a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, you know what? My hair does need a little bit of a chop chop, okay? So why not? Yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday. I trimmed my hair and I cut off about, um, in the front, I cut off about two inches. And then in the back, I cut off an inch because my hair is longer in the front than it is in the back. And that's how much damage I had to remove because I honestly haven't been taking care of my hair. My health has been off, so I haven't had much energy to deal with that. And I haven't worked for like two years and I started working and it's just, it was a lot. So, <clears throat> I cut my hair yesterday. And that was the 18th on Monday, Martin Luther King holiday. <sighs> And it feels good I did a braid out this is a braid out my hair honestly feels good like detangling it was easy detangling was easy and unraveling my my hair had gotten so coarse at the ends like the split ends and the knots were crazy to the point where when I was taking out my twist out not my braid out my twist out I was getting tangles now that just shows you how un unkept my hair was but we are back and I, I'm loving it again. I'm loving it again. Do you hear me? I am loving it again. Or just let's make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth because that would be awful. I honestly don't have a hairdresser. I don't trust everyone with my hair. Okay. Okay. So I do my own hair. I had my hair in mini twists. Thank God. That way it just made it easy. I was going through each and every mini twist, just cutting off what I didn't need and then washed my hair and everything. That was the process I did. I deep conditioned my hair and all of that fun stuff. And I, after washing, rinsing my hair off with cool water, I just twist, um, braided. I did a braid out with shea butter, just raw, plain shea butter. And that's it. And this is the end results. Like my hair feels so good, so good. Since this week, as you can see in the calendar, this week, this month, I, ha I cut my hair on the 18th, but ne next month, you know, I'm giving it four weeks. I can't cut it on the 18th because there's a little red scissors, as you can see. I need to cut it on the 17th. I mean, not cut it, but then just measure it on the 17th. And if I need to do a little dusting here and there, I'm going to do it on the 17th. Just like I did the inversion method, I'm going to test this out and see if it does actually make a difference. Maybe, it, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see, okay? <laughs> so what the website says is... Let's try this out and see. In four weeks, we're going to see how long it's going to take or how long my hair would have grown. Um, I guess I need to measure it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be seeing you again in another video.